feeder cattle are produced and sold all across the United States. As selection programs have emphasized larger animals with more growth potential, a wide variety of cattle types have appeared in the marketplace. A system of grading feeder cattle was developed by USDA to give uniform descriptions of cattle types and to improve market reporting. We'll take a closer look at the grading system using some examples from a group of cattle fed and handled in a typical feedlot manner. A feeder animal's value is determined by its genetic ability to perform rapidly and efficiently in the feedlot and to produce a carcass of desirable composition and weight. The current grading system is based on three major factors, frame size, thickness, and thriftiness. Thriftiness is an indication of the ability to perform normally. Cattle in conditions that would not allow them to perform normally are graded as unthrifty. Thrifty feeder cattle are evaluated for frame size and thickness. Frame size refers to the skeletal size in relation to the animal's age. It predicts mature size and is related to growth rate and body weight at which a given degree of fatness will be achieved. In other words, as frame size of feeder cattle increases, so will the average daily gain, the number of days on feed, and the weight at which a choice grade carcass will be produced. Thickness, as used in the grading system, refers to the size, shape, and development of muscling. Fat may also affect how you visually estimate thickness. Therefore, animals are evaluated at an assumed constant degree of fatness, which is slightly thin. More thickly muscled feeder cattle will produce carcasses with increased cutability and muscle percentage when fed to the same degree of fatness as more thinly muscled feeder cattle. Frame size is judged by assessed body length and height in relation to age. Cattle similar in height and length, but quite different in age, cannot be similar in frame size. Age estimates may be made by looking at the proportionate size of the head, width of muzzle, size of feet, and length and coarseness of switch. In cattle of similar age, as the frame size increases, so will the height at the hips and withers, and the length from the pin to the point of the shoulder. You can assess thickness by observing the development of muscling in the rear quarter, forearm, and stifle. The loin and back may also be viewed, but variations in fleshing may make precise evaluation in these areas difficult. Feeder cattle that have been determined to be thrifty may be placed into three separate groups for frame size and an additional three groups for thickness. Grades for frame size are large, medium, and small. The three thickness grades are designated as numbers 1, 2, and 3. The combination of frame size and muscle thickness results in nine possible grades. To meet the minimum qualifications for large frame, Feeder cattle must be tall and long-bodied for their age. Steers would not be expected to produce choice carcasses until their live weight exceeds 1,200 pounds, and for heifers, 1,000 pounds. In the group of test animals we are evaluating, all feeders ranged from 8 to 10 months of age when the test began. Steers classed as large frame averaged 46.4 inches in hip height and 49.3 inches in body length at the start. Large-framed heifers averaged 43.6 inches in hip height and 46.2 inches in body length. Medium-framed feeder cattle are those considered to be slightly tall and long-bodied for their age. Steers would be expected to produce choice carcasses in the weight range of 1,000 to 1,200 pounds and heifers in the range of 850 to 1,000 pounds. Steers classified as medium frame in our study averaged 42.8 inches in hip height and 46.7 inches in body length at the start. Medium frame heifers averaged 40.8 inches in hip height and 44.1 inches in body length. Small framed feeder cattle are those that are shorter bodied and not as tall as cattle meeting the minimum specifications for the medium grade. 
Small frame steers would produce a choice carcass at less than 1,000 pounds and at the start of this study averaged 40.6 inches in hip height and 42.6 inches in body length. Heifers in the small frame category would produce choice carcasses at a live weight of less than 850 pounds and at the start of this study averaged 39.3 inches in hip height and 41.3 inches in body length. Let's look at examples of the three frame sizes of feeder cattle and how they change from calves to slaughter animals. All cattle were fed on a growing ration until yearlings and then switched to a high energy finishing ration until slaughter. Also remember that a range in body weight is covered within a frame score and an individual animal may fall near the bottom or the top of the grade. To determine where within a grade the animal falls, each grade is divided into percent units. For example, an animal in the middle of the medium frame grade would be an M50%. For the lower quarter of the grade, up to an M25% would be used. In the upper quarter of the grade, an M75% to M99% frame score would be used. This steer is an S60, ranking near the middle of the small frame grade. Note the shortness of body from the point of the shoulder to the pin and lack of height at the hip. This steer was slaughtered at a live weight of 933 pounds, measured 0.5 inches of back fat on the carcass, and graded choice. This heifer is similar in frame to the S60 steer. Note the body measurements as the animal grows. This animal is short at the hip and has a compact body type when evaluated from shoulder to pin. This heifer was slaughtered at a live weight of 798 pounds, measured 0.4 inches of back fat, and graded choice. The feeder frame score grade is S65. This steer is typical of those in the upper portion of the medium frame category. Observe the increases in height and length as the steer grows. When compared to the previous two animals, this one has a taller and longer body type. The steer was slaughtered at a live weight of 1160 pounds and produced a choice carcass measuring 0.3 inches of back fat, confirming the M80 frame score. This heifer was classed as M65. She has above average hip height and body length for medium frame heifers. She was slaughtered at a live weight of 950 pounds and produced a choice carcass with 0.5 inches of back fat. This steer is typical of the middle of the large frame grade. Observe the longer body and greater height as the animal grows. This steer was graded in L55, was slaughtered at a live weight of 1,310 pounds, and produced a choice carcass measuring 0.5 inches of back fat. This large framed heifer was graded as L100. Notice the difference in skeletal size at any age when compared to the medium and small framed heifers previously shown. This animal is longer bodied and taller at the hip at all ages than the previous examples. This heifer was slaughtered at a live weight of 1,295 pounds and produced a choice carcass with 0.45 inches of back fat. As we said before, classifications for thickness are numbers 1, 2, and 3. Cattle with the most thickness are those classified as number 1, while the least thick cattle would be classified as number 3. Cattle meeting minimum qualifications for the number one thickness score will show a high proportion of beef breeding. These cattle will be slightly thick and full through the forearm and stifle, rounded in appearance through the back and loin with moderate width between the front and rear legs. Cattle with number two muscling will be narrow in the forequarter and lower portion of the round. The back and loin may show a sunken appearance and the legs will be set close together. Cattle with number three muscling show less thickness than the minimum required for the number two score. In general, muscular animals will show convex bulging shapes to their muscles, while thinly muscled cattle will exhibit concave, 
flat, angular shapes to their muscling. Check this deer for width, that is thickness, through the lower part of the round when viewed from the rear. From the side view, note the bulge or turn of the muscle in the round, the length of the stifle, and fullness in the forearm. This animal is classed in the middle of the one thickness score, or a 150. This heifer exhibits a pattern typical of cattle in the upper portion of the number one thickness category. Look at the overall thickness of this animal, especially in the lower portion of the round and through the top. Especially notice the convex bulging shape of muscles in the rear quarter and the fullness of forearm. This heifer should be considered as heavily muscled and classified as a 170. This steer should be placed in the bottom range of acceptable thickness for the number one thickness score. Observe the difference in thickness through the lower round and top and the closer set to the legs than in the previous cattle. Also recognize that the shape of the muscles is flatter and more angular, showing less bulge or turn in the rear quarter when viewed from the side or viewed from the rear. This steer was scored as a 110 thickness. This Holstein steer is typical of a thinly muscled feeder. The animal lacks thickness throughout. Note the narrowness of round and lack of length in the stifle. The steer shows a flat, even concave shape to the muscles in both the fore and rear quarters. This animal is typical of those in the lower portion of the number two thickness category, meriting a 230 score. This steer lacks enough thickness throughout to qualify for the number one score, but is in the upper range of the number two score. Observe the lack of width in the lower round and top and lack of length of stifle. View the lack of fullness in the forearm as well. Note the general flatness or lack of bulge to the muscle shape. This steer is classed as a 270 for the thickness ranking. This steer with mostly dairy breeding shows an extreme lack of muscling. Note the very close set to the legs, narrowness in the round, and the sunken look over the back and loin. There is little length to the stifle and an extreme flatness to the muscle shape of both fore and rear quarter from either a side view or from a rear view. This steer is classed as a 350. You should now understand that frame is an indication of mature size and is determined by evaluating body height and length in relation to maturity. The frame classifications are large, medium, and small. A thickness score is determined by evaluating fullness or width of round, top, and forequarter in addition to the shape or angularity of the muscle. The thickness scores are one, two, or three, with one being the thickest. We've now covered the basics of feeder cattle grading. In the video module coming up next, you'll have the chance to assign scores to cattle of various frame and muscle combinations. In this video module, you'll have the chance to grade some example feeder calves, viewing them at the beginning of the growing period, as yearlings, and as slaughter animals. You'll have about 30 seconds to assign and record a frame score and a thickness score for each calf. The official grades will be given at the close. If you don't understand the frame and thickness system for grading feeder calves, please review the preceding video module before attempting this exercise. Now, let's begin. Here's example number one.
Please record your frame and thickness scores for this example. Let's continue with the next calf. Please record your frame and thickness scores for this example. Let's continue with the next calf. Please record your frame and thickness scores for this example. Let's continue with the next calf. Please record your frame and thickness scores for this example. Let's continue with the next calf. Please record your frame and thickness scores for this example. Let's continue with the next calf. Please record your frame and thickness scores for this example. Let's continue with the next calf. Please record your frame and thickness scores for this example. Let's continue with the next calf. Please record your frame and thickness scores for this example. Let's continue with the next calf.
Please record your frame and thickness scores for this example. Let's continue with the next calf. Please record your frame and thickness scores for this example. Let's continue with the next calf. Please record your frame and thickness scores. This next animal will be the final example in this exercise. Please record your frame and thickness scores. Now that you've made your decisions, let's look at the official grades for the animals you've evaluated.